What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Coach Phil Reacts 425 here on YouTube. We decided to change the name over here since we do more reactions than we actually do gaming over here now. So, what better way to bless the channel, the new name of the channel, with a reaction to a guy who really doesn't get the credit he deserves? Now, when we talk about NFL history, we talk about great running backs. His name doesn't get brought up a lot when you hear about like the Barry Sanders, the Walter Paytons. You know what I'm saying? This man defied the game in his own way. He was multi-dimensional. He made plays in the running game and the pass game in an offense that I'm very, very fond of, and that's the K-Gun. Of course, I'm talking about Thurman Thomas. Now, we talk about Thurman Thomas. He really doesn't get love. And I, I never understood why Thurman doesn't get love. I know he wasn't the most flashiest, even though he did have a big ego. Thurman knows he has a big ego. But he played the game differently than most running backs. He was a cutter. He was quick. He caught passes. He was able to make plays in the passing game before the passing game was even well-known for receivers. And, yeah, you can talk about Roger Craig. He was the first to do 1,000 and 1,000. Yes, that's, that's incredible. He was in the West Coast offense. That was more of a necessity than it was his play style. So we're going to take a look at Thurman Thomas's 1991 MVP season. And... To be honest, that was a surprise he even won the MVP. But if you watch the film, you will see that he dominated the game, which he should have also won the Super Bowl MVP the year before, to be honest with you. Like, going off script here. But Thurman should have won Super Bowl MVP, and the Bills should have beat the Giants. But that's neither here nor there. All right. Make sure you guys comment down below. You like, share, and let's keep running these numbers up, y'all. So without further ado... Let's take a look at some of this old grainy film of Thurman Thomas. Ooh, the juicy cut. He already given Miami hell. And I love seeing them when they play Miami because they fought Miami for about a good four-year period in the playoffs where Miami just couldn't even give up. Even in 93, I think it was 93 or 92, when the Dolphins had home field advantage in the AFC Championship. And, yeah, it was 93, 90, I want to say 92, when they had home field. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Tired. <laughs> that man had to do everything. I believe it was 92 when Miami had the home foot advantage of Joe Robbie. And Thurman just went out there and dominated. And there was a battle. There was, people forget, in college, Barry and Thurman played in the same backfield. Now, Thurman was the older guy. He was the junior. Barry was the sophomore. Thurman was the starter. Thurman was big until Barry came and had that big season. So, Thurman did get overshadowed by Barry. There was always a debate of who was the best. Emmett Smith, Barry Sanders, or Thurman Thomas. And that early 90s, about 89 till about 91, 92, it was Thurman's time. But 92 to 95, 96, 97, it was Emmett. All the way. And then Barry had his shine. So, everybody has their, running backs have that three, four year window where they are dominant, but Thurman's was special. I, I have to say special. Look at him, lined up in the slot at the three, boom, quick pass. Just embarrassing the secondary. He's a mismatch. Thurman was a mismatch. You've got to love it. Draw. Play right down. Come on, come on, come on. 
Man, making something out of nothing. Something out of nothing. That is amazing. I love it. I love seeing this. Look at that. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, Phil. We're going back. Okay, we're going back. 15 rushes for 104 yards, 4 receptions, 35 yards. Now, I know the 35 yards in the past game doesn't show a lot, but it was effective. That 104 on 15 rushes, he's got to at least have 4, yard, four to 5 yards per carry. That's dominant. <laughs> Drop Jim. Darn it. Oh. Again, a mismatch. Even though the Jets, still a mismatch nightmare. Look at that. Even when he was having a bad rushing day, he still was effective in the passing game. 13 receptions, 13 doggone receptions for 112 yards. Come on, man. Give this man his flowers before it's too late. God, in a no huddle, in, in an offense that would be effective today just because it was no huddle. A Jim Kelly leading the way. God damn. He's a bad man. He didn't have breakaway speed, but he made you miss. He ran on a swivel. He's just a he, he him and Marshawn Lynch are probably the two best swivel running backs. Let me say that again. Two running backs that run on a swivel better than anybody else. I love it. I, I absolutely love this. Just embarrassing Dickens defense. First and ten at the Indianapolis 14. Thurman Thomas. To the five. He scores. Ball is at the Indianapolis 30 yard line. A blitz. Kelly. Thomas. That's a playmaker. That's a playmaker right there, boy. Where's my pen and paper right there? I need to write something down. First and goal at the four yard line on a 31 yard circus catch by Thurman Thomas. The beauty of this offense, Thurman Thomas is the second leading receiver on this ball club. So you get him out there one on one. How's your running back your second? Let me ask the question. How is your running back the second leading receiver on your team? That's hard. To me, that, that says a whole lot about a team. If your running back is your second receiver, either you don't have weapons or your running back is that good that he can be in the passing game. That, that says a lot to me. Cincinnati. By the crease! By the crease! He took a beating. In the flat. Teddy. Kelly most likely throwing the ball. On third and six 
That is embarrassing. That is absolutely embarrassing. Jump cut, jump cut, boom, gone. He just knew how to score. Ballard, the house. James Lofton also on the outside got a soupy nine, 196 yards. This after the slow start. That's what he does right Thomas here. Thomas found the hole. Thomas broke a tackle. Oh, what a move by Furman Thomas. Well, the reason this play works with the Buffalo Bills. Oh, excuse me. Subscribe. Thomas off the swing. How you outrank an entire team in Russia? Tutty. Whip route, boom. What a nifty spin move to the outside on Oliver. Is somebody when he played against Miami, he has some. Oh my God. Run, go, go, cut, cut, cut. Ah, come on. No, he doesn't, but he makes up for it with his footwork. And his ability to make you miss. Get here. Which is funny, he had been playing for Miami for one year at the end of his career, but that seemed here nor there. Just them throwing a drink at him is, is funny to me. 11th touchdown this season leads the NFL. stats right here. He's blowing out Emmett Smith, Barry Sanders, Ernest Barner, and Del Pino of the Rams. By at least 400, 400 yards when it comes to Emmett, at least 400. Barry, no, Emmett by at least 400, 242. I suck at math, so bear with me. But at least about both, between both of them, about 400 yards. Del Pino is about another 400. It's a phenomenal. This is just total yards from scrimmage. So at some point, he's going to get 2,000. Which in today's game, it really doesn't mean that much, but back then, it was everything. If he just stayed on his feet. Him, him, Jim. Oh, he got away from Agnew. Dumps the ball off to Thomas, and he'll score a touchdown. Making something out of nothing. Second and one. And the first down picked up by Thomas. And more. I miss those days when you had to have a handheld radio to really enjoy the game. We'll start doing that when I go to football games again. Because sometimes the announcers be boring at the football games. It'd be so corny. Thomas. 
Petrie, why don't you just jump through the hole? Ben Allen, center, just blocks down. They get the blocking there. Thurman Thomas jumps through the hole and then sprints to the outside. James Hasty is there. McMillan is there. 19 for 109. Thomas with 90 of his 144. Jesus. In the second half. And oh, he accounted for 43% of the Buffalo offense. And it's going to be single covered. Yeah, he's taking a look at it. Third down. They need 20. He throws. Mm. And Thomas will dance. And he cuts inside. And Thurman Thomas inside the 30. And very close to a first down. He got 18. And a third and 20 play. They got one time I left. They ought to use it here. Already a 13, over 13 times, 1,400 yards. Good God. So. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So. With that being said, let's check out the stats. 1,407 rushing yards, 631 receiving yards, over 2,000 yards from scrimmage. That says a whole lot about a running back to me. When you can do more in the game than just being one dimensional. That is, give Thurman Thomas his roses before it's too late. Give him the respect that he's due. Because to me, he is, he is he's got to be in the top five running back of all time. Not saying he's the best, but to put him in the top five is right where he should be. He's up there with Emmett. He's up there with Barry. He's up there with Walter. He's up there with Jim Brown. Am I going to say he's better than all of them? No, but he is the most multidimensional of them. So, with that being said, guys, that's today's video. I'm probably going to pop out another video here soon. So, make sure you guys comment, like, and share. And if you got any suggestions for any videos, whether it's a reaction to just a regular football game, a huddle video, or just want me to give my give roses to somebody before they go, I'm down for that. Let's, let's move these numbers up. And until next time, make sure you take care of yourself. Be smart out here in these streets. And we out of here.